Hi guys! Have you liked my Facebook fan page? If you haven't, then go and search hashtag Michelle ESL on Facebook and you will reach my fan page. What is hashtag? Are you wondering what is hashtag? Well, this sign is called a hashtag. And in this lesson, we are going to find out how can we use hashtag to talk about social media terms. So hashtag is a buzzword and today we are looking at many more words that have created a buzz. So stay tuned with me. I'm Michelle. Okay, so guys, here we are and we have a lot of words with us which are actually called buzzwords, which means that they have created a buzz on the social media platform. What do we mean by buzz? Buzz means a lot of noise. So when people talk about something, they create a buzz about it. Okay, so these words have created a buzz on the social media platform. The first word that we have with us is, uh, how do we pronounce this? I'm sure you may have come across this word, but you're actually maybe pronouncing it as meme or mimi. Well, that's not the correct pronunciation. The correct pronunciation of this word rhymes with the word dream. So the way you say dream, the same way you say this word, which is meme. So the correct pronunciation for this word is meme. And you say it just like you say dream. Okay, now we look at rest of the words that we have with us. Oh, hold on. What do we really mean by a meme? What is a meme? So meme is a very popular message, which is which could be a picture or a joke or a video or a text message that becomes so popular that everyone starts sharing it either on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook or any other social media platform. So anything that becomes viral is called meme. So anything that becomes popular, a popular message. If you heard me carefully, I said that anything that becomes viral is a meme. So viral is when something becomes so popular that almost everyone is sharing it. So it could be any meme, like it could be a text message, it could be a picture or a video. And when everyone around you, maybe you know, you, you open your Facebook page and you see that so many people have shared the same video. That's when you know that that video is viral, which means that it's very, very popular. Very popular. The next word that we have with us is a thread. So what is a thread? So thread is actually a very long string, okay, as we know of it. As a noun, thread is a very long string. But how can we actually use it in social media terminology? All right, so whenever someone posts a picture, okay, when someone posts a picture or, or a message or maybe even a video, and there are a lot of people commenting over it, right? And if there's a particular comment which has many comments in response, that's when there's a thread over the video, which means that there are a lot of comments and in response to those comments, there are more comments. So this is what thread is, comments in response to an original post. comments on an original post. And this kind of a thread usually only develops on an original post. You cannot have it on a shared post. It's always on an original post. And there are people commenting one after the other and it actually becomes a discussion where people are discussing about the video or maybe some other topic. Okay, the next one we have is blogosphere. So this word is a combination of two words, which are blog and atmosphere. 
So who lives in the atmosphere? We all live in the atmosphere. But who lives in blogosphere? Blogs live in blogosphere. So blogosphere is a network of blogs where there are a lot of bloggers who are constantly blogging. And sometimes there are certain topics which most of the bloggers are talking about. So sometimes it could be a celebrity, right? Or it could be a news. So like if you could say that Ellen Spritzer's scandal is the topic of the blogosphere, which means that all the bloggers are talking about this scandal or this news. So blogosphere is blog atmosphere where blogs and bloggers live. So are you living in a blogosphere? Okay, these days most of us are. All right, we can also have vlogosphere, which means that where videos live, video blogs and atmosphere come together to form vlogosphere. So at this moment, we are all in vlogosphere because you are watching my video. Okay, now the next one we have is microblogging. So micro means something which is very tiny, okay? Very small or tiny. Micro means tiny. And blogging, you surely know a log on the web is a blog, right? Where you write something on the web, that's called a blog. Now, when you have a very small blog, a tiny blog, that's called microblogging. So where do you find tiny blogs? You find them on Twitter, right? When you write a tweet, it's called a microblog because it's so tiny and there are a certain set of numbers that you must follow to write a tweet on Twitter. You cannot cross that number. So you cannot write a tweet for 500 or 800 words. You have to follow the given number of words. So microblogging are tiny blogs. Okay. With this, we come to the buzzword or the word of the lesson. W-O-T-L, which means word of the lesson. Okay, so hashtag is used for social tagging. So if there's a particular topic and there are a lot of people talking about it and they want to find out about the topic on the social platform, it could be Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, or any other social platform, then they have to hashtag it which is social tagging to find out about it. So like if you want to find out about my Facebook page, then you need to hashtag Michelle ESL and you'll reach my Facebook page. The same way we have other common hashtags which are very popular and people around the world follow them, okay? The first one that we have is here on my t-shirt. What do you read? It's TBT. So TBT is throwback Thursday. I'll come to the meaning in a moment. So you use this hashtag throw back Thursday when you talk about a memory from the past. So if you visited France last year on the same date, you will tag it as TBT and you'll post a picture of your visit in France last year. TBT means throwback Thursday, which means that you're remembering a memory from the past. Let's look at the next common hashtag and which is TTYL. So when you're really bored and you don't want to talk to someone, you tell them, talk to you later. If you hashtag TTYL, okay. IDK, this is short for, I don't know. So hashtag IDK. And if you actually type hashtag IDK, you will have so much information on the internet. The next we have is FTW. FTW means for the win. So when you win something or when you feel very excited, you can use this hashtag to show your excitement and say for the win or hashtag FTW. And if you have a picture or a video, you can post it along with all of these hashtags to make it more popular and searchable because the whole purpose of a hashtag is for people to be able to find out what you are posting. All right, now we look at the next word we have and this is trending. So do you know what a feed is? Feed and trending are very related because when you use your Facebook, there's a right column on the page that you see where you have a lot of news coming up, right? This news could be from your own friends. What are they liking? Whose pictures are they liking? Etc. Etc. 
or else it could be regular news which is becoming very popular. So when there's a news that is becoming very popular, that's when you call that it's trending. So a news that's becoming very popular. And feed is the part of the page, your Facebook page or your Facebook profile home page where you can see information from other users about what they are liking. So updates from other users is seen on feed. But you can only see it for the people who are in your friend list. You cannot see it for people who are not in your friend list. So updates from others. And this is not only true for Facebook, you can also get such updates on YouTube. And if you want update for my new lessons, then you need to subscribe to my channel so that you can stay constantly updated about my trending channel, uh, trending videos. All right, now we come to the last word that we have for the day, and this is a handle. Are we talking about a door handle? Mm-hmm. Contrary to a door handle, we are talking about a Twitter username right now. A Twitter username. So a username on Twitter is actually called a handle. So don't get very confused if someone asks you, hey, what's your Twitter handle? And you'll be like, uh, does Twitter also have a handle? No, they're actually talking to you about your Twitter username. Great. So here we are at the end of the lesson and we have learned some buzzwords and some awesome vocabulary related to social media. Do not forget to subscribe to my channels for the trending videos. Thank you so much for staying with me. This is Michelle signing off. Bye-bye.